Hey guys, Dave LaRochelle. We're out on a uh, farm up of north of Alpharetta, off Georgia 400. Um, saw some, some images online from uh, another photographer named Joel Grimes, which I'm sure most of you guys know. I'm sure he doesn't mind me mentioning him here. But he had a, uh, a cool shot for one of his workshops he was advertising of a uh, cowboy with a horse, um, done high speed sync. Um, I'm not sure what equipment he used on that shot. But uh, I've got the uh, Westcott uh, Zeppelin 47 inch that I'm using today and we've done some high speed sync. Nice bright sunny day as you can tell it's, I'm squinting. But uh, with this high speed sync we were able to get nice blue skies. Um, you'll see the, the images as we roll them into this video. Um, also going to play around with a variety of looks, high speed sync. We're going to do some available light with uh, diffusion panels uh, filtering the, the direct sun. And uh, stay tuned, have fun, enjoy, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks a lot. We got, got some friends out here today. Just like that's perfect.
Hey guys, Dave La Rochelle, just wrapping up the uh, shoot with the lovely Brittany from uh, Salt Model Agency here in Atlanta. Um, had a great shoot, a little, little blustery and chilly day here in the Atlanta area. Um, we were, as you'll see, as you, as you have seen in this video, we had some trouble with uh, wind and reflectors and some harsh, uh, unfiltered, bright, clear blue skies coming in. So we did some high-speed sync to start out with. Um, the reason for that was the the time of day that we started was just a little afternoon really so the sun was still high in the sky um, casting all shadows where we don't want you know dark eyes which is you've heard me if you've seen my other videos it's one of my pet peeves is you see all kinds of work nowadays where you can't really see the eye because it's shot in bad light um, so the high-speed sync allowed me to sync my flash off camera at a higher shutter speed than what's normal, which most cameras nowadays, the normal flash sync is about 250th of a second. Some of these, I think you'll see I'm up about 3,000th of a second. Um, so that way the flash is the main light and any ambient light becomes fill or an accent light. Um, so you'll see some of that. And then we put the, the strobe away due to the wind, was had a, a 47 inch Westcott Octa box or uh, Zeppelin out here, which is a deep dish Octa. Um, just kind of blowing it around a little bit, so we went to natural light with the reflector and scrims. So you'll see uh, my assistant having trouble holding on to reflectors and keeping the light steady on the subject um, while we shot. But uh, we also did some with just straight sun as the illumination, which is tricky to do without getting just a hard hard line between the light and shadow areas and try to maintain detail and shadow um, so you use the light almost straight onto the subject versus from the side um, we did some out in the middle of the field where we didn't have all the equipment out with us in the middle of the pasture out there except for the camera so i did some where she was backlit if you find yourself in a situation where you're out bright sun if it's at an angle put the sun behind your subject let it backlight them and expose for the light that's hitting them from the open sky which is a nice soft light um, it'll completely blow out your backgrounds which I know some photographers out there you know that don't like those blown out backgrounds but occasionally it, it, it can work um, you see that all the time 
advertising, publications. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Any comments, um, any ideas for maybe for future shoots, things that you want to see me do or, or not do or address, um, please leave a, a comment below. Thank you.